I'm Christy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm here to chat about the Historical Hellions book club picks for the first half of 2024. So Historical Hellions is a book club that Jess from Peace Love Books and Samantha from Books with Samantha started back in 2021. I think they've been going for three years now, which is so exciting and so awesome. I have loved participating in it. They basically read historical romances that were published before the year 2000. So definitely more of those old school historical romances. I have loved participating in it for the past three years because I have gotten to read a lot of the books and authors that I've had on my shelves from the historical romance collecting that I've done over the years. It's been fun trying out all these authors that I've collected books for like Step Back Saturday or Cover Lust Friday and getting to read some of these for the first time, finding authors that I love so much. Some of them are definitely misses, but like that's kind of the fun of it all. Also the discussions about just like some of these old school historical romances are a lot of fun as well. Even when the book's a dud, like the live chats during it are so fun. So I was so excited when they asked me to participate as a co-host for their book club now starting in 2024. So I wanted to quickly run down all of the book picks that we have for January through June of 2024. They are all announced on the Instagram that we have for Historical Hellions. So check that out as well. That's where like the live show dates and whose channel it's going to be on all of that is announced as well. So yeah, I quickly just want to run down all of these tell you all the picks for every month in case you aren't on Instagram or you haven't seen the picks and you want to join or you just want to get back into historical romances this year or you're already a fan of historical romances and have read these either back in the day or recently want to join our chat any of those things. So I wanted to share it here as well. So the pick for January is The Gift by Julie Garwood. Here is this stunning cover, which I love so much. It's so pretty. So basically we do share the live show dates like the month that they're happening. So like this one's already announced. So the live show date is going to be on January 28th on Jess from Peace Love Books channel. I will show the little graphic here for the time and all of that. I will definitely like remind you on Instagram once the live show date info is coming up. The live shows are on YouTube. And like I said, while we do announce the book picks in advance, so you you can go find copies or whatever. The live show dates usually come the month of. So that's that. <laughs> so January is The Gift by Julie Garwood. This one I know is the third book in her Crown Spies series. So not gonna lie, I'm kind of like anxiously excited for this one because I have read a ton of Julie Garwood books in the past. Usually her medieval historicals really, really work for me, like The Secret, The Bride, all of those. Her kind of spy ones I haven't really loved. Like the first book in the series is The Lion's Lady. I read that one a couple years back for the historical romance readathon didn't love it. So I'm curious how this one will go. So like I said, The Gift is the third book in her Crown Spies series. I think you can definitely read them all as standalones, but I know they are all spy related. I believe this one is pirate as well. So let's find out. So in this one, it says the heroine was a child bride who has been waiting for her husband to return to claim her. So that's interesting. It says, let's see, charmingly innocent. She dismissed the ancient feud that divided her and his families love a feuding family situation. And she was totally unaware of his past exploits as a notorious pirate. I feel like pirate high seas will work for me if it's from Julie Garwood. <laughs> so it says the man who now stood before her was perplexing, arrogant, and powerfully handsome, a warrior gentleman whose gentle touch aroused her to the wildest, deepest pleasures of love. And then it says that he has never bared his soul to any woman, but he was soon utterly beguiled and exasperated by her sweet, defiant ways. Ooh, they go aboard his ship. That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> aboard his ship she was brave imperious and determined to win his heart completely yet upon their return to england her love would be sorely tested as a most desperate conspiracy sundered them from one another now as their future trembled in the balance they would discover the true identity of their passion for all time Ooh, so that one actually sounds really good like i know it's part of her crown spies series but if it's pirate I could be down with that. So definitely let me know if you've read this one, if you're going to be joining the live show, or if you have a favorite Julie Garwood book, I would love to know. And then the February pick is Till Dawn Tames the Night by Megan McKinney. Here is the stunning cover. I love the metallic on here. And then we have a step back moment as well, a double page step back, which I love. So I'm excited to get to this one because I did read a couple of Megan McKinney's last year. I think it was for actually Jess's Patreon, like a book club that she has was one of the books in there. And I loved that book. It was one of my favorite books of last year, which was Lions and Lace. So good. Definitely alpha hero, but check it out. But I'm excited to read more from this author. So let's see. Like I said, this is our February pick, which is kind of perfect with the pink vibe. This one says from the safe haven of a London orphanage to the savage seas of love. Ooh, is this another pirate one? So it says a safe, respectable orphanage was the only home that Aurora had ever known. Ooh, she's a teacher. So teaching there would mean security. But when the mysterious letter arrived offering her a position as ladies companion, Aurora sees a chance embarking for Jamaica with her sole legacy, a little golden lizard bearing a strange rhyme. What? <laughs> and so began the daring odyssey that would throw her into the clutches of a ruthless privateer. Ooh, another pirate one. I'm excited. 
feared by men, desired by women, Vachon's, I think that's how you say his name, eyes gleamed green as he vowed to possess the innocent beauty who held the key to his quest. Ooh. Could anything ever equal his obsession to retrieve the legendary emerald? Okay. Held captive on a secret Caribbean isle, his solitary lair, she has to struggle against her own passions, determined to tame the very dragon who had awakened her fire. What? Okay, so that one sounds like quite the ride. Lots of adventure. I'm very excited to get to this one now. This one I think is very long. I think it's like 470 pages. So yeah, let me know if you've read this one, if you're going to be joining with us, all those things. All right, and then the March pick. I thought my copy would arrive before I did this video, but it didn't. So here we go. I'm going to share the cover here. So this is Tempt Me With Kisses by Phoebe Kahn. This cover is stunning. I think this is another pirate one we shall see so this one says it's book three of her hearts of california series so in here it says daniel aragon knew trouble when he saw it and harmony russell was more than he could handle the auburn haired beauty was a temptation from the moment he spotted her on a san francisco pier a temptation and a torment Ooh, so this is like american setting for her uncle was one of the land commissioners here to review the aragon's family land grant and daniel could not afford to risk all he had for a few flirtatious nights but harmony was not about to let business come between her and the handsome stranger who'd stolen her heart with one dark glow Lance. This sounds like a fun time. <laughs> Casting aside property and pride, she set out to seduce the hot-blooded Californio and was instantly seared by the passions her loving touch unleashed. Soon she was caught in a trap of her own making, enslaved to the desires that swept her into the heart of his embrace. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm obsessed with the cover. Can't wait for my physical copy to get here. The blue on her dress with that like orange background in the pirate ship like chef's kiss stunning. This one sounds really good. So you know the drill. Let me know if you've read this one, if you've read this author, if you're going to join the live show chat, all the things. So then the next three picks were actually picked during a live show. So I love that Jess and Samantha have always done that. They will ask in the live chat during one of the live shows, like to give recommendations of authors of books, any of those things. So I love that they take that into consideration as well. And kind of everybody gets to read books that they want. So in the December live show, we ended up picking the next three books. So for April, we're going to be reading Tapestry by Karen Rainey. Here is the beautiful cover for this one. I love the gold on here and this kind of like little scene with the hair on the heroine. On the back as well, we get like a closer up scene of here. I know that people said in the live show that this one is a Beauty and the Beast retelling where the hero has to wear this leather mask. So I am very, very excited. So it says their destinies were bound by a shimmering thread of desire. For Lady Laura, there's only one man in the world, Alex and Earl. Yet ever since he was wounded in battle, Alex has locked himself away in his great stone castle and believing himself to be less than a man, he conceals his ravaged face behind a leather mask and hides his scarred soul beneath an icy aloofness. Like Beauty and the Beast vibes already? Yes, please. So a mere child, when he went off to war, Laura has blossomed into a beautiful young woman that Alex scarcely recognizes. The compassion and desire he sees shining out of her eyes tempts him to ease his pain in her sweet, sensual embrace. But as a need flames into uncontrollable passion, an evil fate conspires against them both, weaving a web of treachery and betrayal that could bring heartbreak or happiness to those who dare to love dot dot dot. <laughs> I love when historical romances have that like dot 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 and makes it so dramatic. This one sounds so good. I love a good Beauty and the Beast retelling. So I'm very excited to get to this one. I know a lot of people in the live show chat said they love this book. So let me know if you've read this one. If you read Karen Rainey, I've been wanting to read her for years and I cannot wait to read this one. All right, and then the May book club pick is His Forbidden Touch by Shelley Thacker. There is the beautiful cover. I love the crown on here and the flowers. And in the back, we have this glorious, gorgeous step back. Love this like forest scene with her red hair and his giant sword. <laughs> this one up here in the blurb of the step back says the dark swordsman swore to protect a princess and not to fall in love with her. Ooh, yes. So I recommended this one during the live show chat because I have been wanting to read Shelley Thacker and this one that sounded so good because I believe it kind of was giving me vibes of like Snow White and the Huntsman with the Huntsman following for her because basically he's like her bodyguard and she's a princess, I think. Let's read the like synopsis together. <laughs> so this one is part of Shelley Thacker's Stolen Bride series. It says this one is book three. It says this whole series is different women, like one falls through time, finds herself married to a dark stranger. One may never reach her royal wedding if she can't resist her rugged protector. I think that's this book. One is abducted by a mysterious swordsman and swept away to a secret island paradise. Okay, so this whole series sounds like it's a lot of fun, but let's find out about this book. Okay, so it says that she may never reach her royal wedding if she can't resist the rugged bodyguard assigned to protect her on the journey. The hero in here is a disgraced ex knight, and he was banished from his homeland because of an impulsive act that cost him all that he held dear. Now he has a chance to reclaim his birthright if he agrees to escort the lovely princess across a war-torn land to her royal wedding. The two set off alone through snowy mountain passes, but forbidden desire soon proves even more dangerous than the assassins on their trail 
betrayal. Ooh, they're like being hunted. With the fate of two kingdoms hanging in the balance, will Royce and Ciara do as honor and duty demand or surrender to the longing in their hearts? Ugh, these like questions <laughs> that the historical romances always ask in their blurbs, like I'm here for it. So this sounds like a lot of fun. So a bodyguard romance and she's a royal princess? Like, yes please, obsessed. Let me know if you're gonna read this one with us too. All right, and then for June, we're gonna be reading Come the Morning by Shannon Drake. I had to track down the hardcover first edition of this because the cover is stunning. I know there's like another like purpley step back version, which I do wanna track down that copy as well to find the step back edition. Like I was just obsessed with this cover and had to track it down. I love like the raised gold on here. We have like the purple jewels laid in there. This gorgeous sunset with like that medieval kind of night going off. We have the cover down here as well. Like I said, it's embossed with the gold. Here's the spine. Here is the author on the back. I love how hard covers would just have like giant pictures of the author's face on there. So this one I'm very excited to get to. I know a lot of people were recommending it and loving it during the live show. So Shannon Drake is actually the pseudonym or another author name for Heather Graham. So we were very excited because we did read another Heather Graham last year, which was a lot of fun. So we were like, yes, please to this one. And everybody in the chat was saying this one is so good. So this one's actually the first book in her Graham clan series. When we were looking it up, I saw that the author like Heather Graham slash Shannon Drake was saying that she did research into her own family dating back to the kind of stories that these are set around. So it's kind of set around her own family history, which I think was super cool. So let's see what this one says together. So this one, let's see. So this one says an extraordinary saga rich in the history of 12th century Scotland come the morning it shimmers with the passions of men and women swept up in the wars of the highlands the deadly intrigues of kings and the ageless yearnings of desire in the days when Scotland lay under siege from the Vikings who sailed down from the north and the Norman English who brought their armies up from the south King David sought to unite his people into one nation yada 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 let's get to the good stuff <laughs> Okay, so the hero, it says that he is one of the greatest fighters for the king and was knighted Lord Lion. With his allegiance sworn to King David, Lord Lion was destined to live a Scottish chieftain's life, but his honored position came with a price, a reluctant Viking bride. Drama. Okay, it says she is the daughter of a noblewoman and a Viking warlord, and that she had an imagination that blazed with dreams of ancient myths and tales of adventure. After her father's death, she ruled her ancestral lands like a Valkyrie, riding like the wind, wielding a sword, and bowing to no man. Ooh, already very excited. She had already pledged her heart when she received King David's decree to marry the fierce Lord Lion. It says he shows up at her fortress. He had come to claim his bride, possess her, and beget sons with her. And it says that she had sworn to resist this barbarian nobleman, only to find herself slowly becoming an unwilling captive to his compelling power. Soon she was a woman consumed by desire in a primitive highlands invaded by marauders. Ooh. Yet until the mistrust between husband and wife died, love could not be born. So this one sounds so good. So it talks about like loyalties divided, betrayal, falling in love with your enemy, the ancient Scotland vividly brought to life. This one sounds like a lot of fun. So definitely let me know if you have read this series, if you're going to be reading it with us all the things. All right, so those are the picks for January through June of 2024. Like I said, definitely let me know in the comments if you're going to be joining the live shows as well, if you're going to be reading any of these with us. If you have read any of these authors before, definitely let me know. So if you have any older historical romance books, series, any of those things, authors that you love, definitely let me know, especially if they're written before the year 2000. I would love to go see some more, find out all the things that you love. I can't wait to actually get to all of these. Like I want to read all of them immediately. They sound so, so good. I'm also just here for more historical romance content this year and so if you are right along there with me wanting to read more historicals this year this is a great way to kind of read some historical romances we do one a month and then you can read it anytime you want and then at the end of the month we just have a live show and chat about it all it's a lot of fun like the chats are fun if you haven't read the book if you read half of it if you didn't love it if you loved it like the chats are just a fun time I can't wait here for all the historical romance content this year. So if you want to leave me an emoji in the comments instead, so let me know you watch this. You can leave like anything maybe pirate themed since we are going to be reading a lot of pirate books starting off the year. So maybe like pirate ship. I'm trying to think what other pirate emojis there are. There's like a pirate flag, possibly any of those things, a ship, a flag, whatever, pirate themed emoji. You can do that as well. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.